Now this just arrived, the new Echo Show 15. If you're not familiar with it, it's Amazon's latest Echo that uh, serves as kind of a digital hub for your house. So we're gonna open it up, we're gonna get some initial impressions on this. If you'd like to learn more about it, I'll put links down in the description. But basically, uh, this isn't gonna be a big deep dive into this, it's really gonna be about Taking a look at what we get in the box, see how this screen looks, and just get some initial impressions. The Echo Show 15 is meant to serve as a digital bulletin board slash hub for your family. It has features and the widgets included that are meant to help keep your family organized with things such as your calendars, notes, uh, shopping list. Uh, they have added a new smart home favorite section that I think is gonna be really nice to have. New feature with the Echo Show 15 that's coming to the latest Echo Show 10 and Echo Show 8 is Visual ID. So when you walk up to this device, it will recognize you and it'll change to show you your information. So all these different features seems like a really interesting device, but let's get it opened up. Okay, that didn't do much. In the box, Right off the bat, we see the screen. And take that out, look at it in a minute. Next we have a bracket for mounting on the wall is my guess. And we have the manual. This is one I may need to actually look at. Power and anchors. Ah, they've also included a mounting template. So here's a mounting template, shows the camera hole over here. So this is for portrait. And then on the other side, it shows the landscape mounting template. I think this is a great idea because mounting stuff onto walls can really be a challenge. This should simplify it a lot for people. And that's it in the box. The Echo Show 10 itself. Looks like a big picture frame with the hole in it. Let's turn it over. Oh. There's the mounting. Looks like we have VESA mounts. Those are the mounts that you would use typically to mount monitors. And the mount, if we were to mount it, goes like that. Okay, nice. And then we have our power cord right here. Also in here we have a micro USB. Great. One of my least favorite connectors. On top, we have our camera shutter. If you close the camera shutter, it uh, blends right into the white. Volume up, volume down, your microphones, and then your mute. There are two 1.6 inch speakers along here. We'll see how those sound. And that about covers it. Next, we need to get it powered on and set up. We got sound, that's a good start. Okay, getting your device ready, just a moment. Let's pick our language. Hello, ready for setup. It's registered to me. Since I purchased this, it automatically registered to my Amazon Prime account. So it's just letting me know that if I tap yes to use this, it'll use my billing information and all that. So yes, that's me. North America, yes. This is going to be in the office group for now. I don't know if it's just a placebo effect, but I feel like the screen might be a little faster in response. Let's just go with nature for now. Your appointments, their reminders, everyone's Alexa. Set up a profile for you and each of your family members and Alexa will keep track of it all. Okay, let's set up a profile. Enter your first name, yes, all that's good. We have voice ID, now we're gonna set up visual ID. Add visual ID, agree and continue. To get started, look directly at the screen. Tilt your head up. Look to your right. Tilt your head down. Look to your left. Now Alexa will know when you're near. Visual ID saved on this device, great. Continue. Now the Echo Show can help you monitor your home, allow members of your household to live stream this Echo Show camera anytime, anywhere through the app and connected devices such as another Echo Show. An indicator will appear when someone in your household is streaming the camera. Yes, this Echo Show will now appear as a camera in the app, great. Welcome to Amazon Sidewalk. Disable. Welcome to your new Echo Show. I'm excited to show you a few things that you may not have tried yet. 
Let's get started. So I want to show you will help you navigate your device. Swiping down, we have our home settings, do not disturb, all those basic ones. Now the items that we would typically get from the side on other Echoes from swiping over, we see here, such as the communications, music, smart home tab, video, and all that. So that is nice. I like it's all in one spot. Might just be me, but I feel like that moved a little quicker. Now, if you look at the screen, this is a 15.6 inch full HD screen. It, that means it's 1920 by 1080p, not 4K, but I think you're okay without 4K in this size. You can go to all the streaming services you're used to seeing. Uh, I'm just kind of paying attention as I tap through this to see how it's responding. And you know, now we're going to the cloud. So we get into the cloud delay. Okay, so you could get to all the stuff you're used to seeing on the other Echo shows from there. One of the new things in here though is a widget gallery. And that widget gallery is how we start to customize this home screen. So if we were to pick a large calendar, say plus, see what that does. And let's go back to widget, see what it does. Okay, it gave us the large calendar there instead. Now let's see what our other choices are. We have our lights there. Let's add, let's go and add sticky notes. And let's add weather. And I think that's it for now. So there's the widgets. Introducing widgets. With the widgets, you could see your favorite Alexa features at a glance to access shortcuts swipe down from the top of the screen. So one thing I'm noticing is that it's not showing me everything off the bat, that you have to uh, swipe over to see the rest of them and continue to swipe over if you want to rearrange your widgets. So I want my smart devices there, sticky notes and such there. Let's get rid of that. I don't need two calendars and I don't need what that is. There we go, done. Now here are the smart devices. That's one of the things I had been missing with the Echo Shows is ability to get to stuff quickly. If we look at the favorite sections. One of the things I saw when setting this up is that there is no larger size, but this favorites is showing the smart home favorites that are set up within your phone app. So if you want to rearrange things so they show up differently here, you need to do it within the app. Unfortunately, it's just showing all the favorites. So it's not like you can just do favorites for just this room which would be nice if each room had its own favorites. There's all of our different appointments. Nice, okay, I, I like the interface better. Swipe down from the top. Photo frames, routines, so if you wanna see the routines you've made, they'll show up there. There's the list of routines. Music, and that's gonna take me to my recently played items. Smart home, no different than what you'd find on the other Echoes. Just hopping around and it, it feels like it's a little quicker. The smart devices are huge to be able to do that. Uh, tap to refresh. This is my Nest thermostat. What's it gonna show me? Ah, cool, temperature, what it's set to. This is what I've been asking for and wanting on the screen to make it more useful. Um, unfortunately, like there's things that you only have the limited view there, so you have to pick what's gonna go there and you can't change it based on the room, but really good start to have that there. I do like this too. One thing I'm noticing is like this Lakers recap came on, I could say, hide this item so I don't get the sports highlights on there. I'm sure I can go into my settings and pick my screen layout, home content. These are all the different settings that you would normally get uh, just on the Echo Show screen alone. It looks like it's using just that one side. I like to turn everything off to see so nothing rotates through. I'm guessing nothing is going to change in this window now uh, since I turned those other options off. So what would have been your whole echo screen showing that rotating information now only comes over here. And that looks like it's determined by how many widgets you have. Couple other features, this is a five megapixel camera. I'm really surprised it didn't go with the 13 megapixel that the uh, that the uh, Echo Show 8 and Echo Show 10 has. Now if we look at this, if we click on one of the widgets, 
pick the sticky notes. So stickies, add text, hello, and there it is, save sticky. And then we have a sticky there. It's gonna go full screen weather. And if we click on our smart home devices, so by clicking on the smart home device, it doesn't just automatically open into a larger view. That would be nice. Now let's look at a camera. Okay. And then you could actually shrink it down and go picture in picture. One of the things Amazon shows is using something like this as a baby monitor and just leaving that picture in a picture. Now let's see if we turn this, go vertical, it switches everything over. Now that's everything in a vertical orientation. Let's try watching a video in this format. What's it gonna do? Who Reacher? I don't know that one. I like the books though. Jack Reacher, Mr. Cease, Retired Army. I'm excited. I love these books. Now let's rotate this. That didn't sound too bad. It got louder than I expected. I only had it up about 50%. Uh, okay, so kind of cool as a screen. Well, that's a little look at the widgets and the video and all that good stuff. It seems like a interesting device. I think it's a little bit faster. Might just be a placebo effect. I do need to use it more and I will follow up after getting some more use out of this. But what are your thoughts on the new Echo Show 15? Is it something you're interested in? Not at all. Let us know in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more great smart home information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.